So today we're going to talk about structure and genetics. I learned a lot about this because I wanted to avoid injuries with my dogs, ideal working dogs. Ultimately, structure and genetics can give you longer life, longevity, and better health quality out of your dog, and also to be aware of what to watch out for when getting a dog. Firstly, look at his back legs here. See how his back legs tuck right up under his body? They sit right underneath, and they're actually ready to activate to stand. So when I ask him to stand, you can see all four legs activate, and he stands really nicely. And then when I ask him to plutz, you'll see it descends down and all those back two legs come right up underneath them. So this gives him agility and capability to take off really quickly. Also when Mando's gonna take off really quickly, his back feet go out a little bit so he can really kick and lunge off those back feet and his front legs will also go out a little bit so he can kick and lunge. Now with the front of the body stand, you wanna see nice clean front facing toes, no east west, See how his feet are facing forward? You want his knuckles like this, not like this, not like this. No, 